we're back with another video this time we actually don't have like a real song we finally got the xxl 2020 freshman class list and we usually get these somewhere around june july but because of covid obviously it had to get pushed back a little bit and now it's been too damn long i actually forgot that we were supposed to get a 2020 freshman class it's been that long since we were supposed to get it but it's finally here i haven't seen anybody who's on this list i haven't seen any names or anything like that so we gonna check out this year's freshman class and i'll sort of give you guys my my sort of thoughts and opinions and two cents on how i feel about this list if you guys like this video, make sure you spank the like and subscribe button and ring the bell so you guys get notified whenever I upload. And if you guys have any suggestions of videos you would like to see me do, make sure you leave those down in the comments below because I'm open to anything. But without further ado, to XXL 2020 freshman class revealed official announcement. Let's see what we got. Okay. Play. I've been rapping since I was 10 years old and I got so many years goals. Old. I made okay. it 20, 20 freshman. Oh, Fabi, I see you. Jack, okay. Okay, I'm seeing. Based on what's going on in the climate of the world. Who the hell is that? I don't know who that was. Taking some elements of Okay, so taking some elements. I know that usually at the end they sort of like go through a rundown, just have a whole like list with the names. So I'll go through them each individually, but I do recognize some of these faces, do right here, Fabio Foreign. I do recognize a lot of them, so it's super dope, some okay? Rock, fed, trend, new sounds, rap a single artist. I'm whoever you need me to be, man, for real. Okay, who we got? Jack Harlow. Okay, Jack Harlow was popping. This makes a lot of sense. This makes a lot of sense. Jack Harlow hasn't been out for too long. What's popping went absolutely nuts. Then he dropped that absolute explosive remix. Okay, Tory Lane's trying to burn my face off. So I definitely think that this one is well deserved. Polo G. If anybody is deserving to be in this freshman class, it is Polo G, bro. In my opinion, everything that I've heard from this dude, whether it's his song, whether it's a feature, has been absolutely amazing. I've heard nothing bad come out of this dude, Polo G's mouth, bro. And The Goat, his album that he just dropped this year, is honestly a top three album, if not the best hip-hop album released this year, bro. That album was absolutely incredible. Every song was such a banger, bro. No skips at all. So this, this, this dude is definitely probably the most deserving in my opinion. Okay, Rod Wave. You guys know how I feel about Rod Wave, bro. I love Rod Wave, bro. He can sing, he can rap, he can make you sad, he can make you hype, bro. I love, I love Rod Wave style, bro. So, so versatile, and I definitely do think he should be on here. Mulatto, okay. Hold on, we gonna look quick. Okay, slow down. Okay, Mulatto. Mulatto. I was just recently introduced to this girl, Mulatto. I haven't heard much from her. I've only heard her one verse on that NLE Choppa song that I posted the other day. So I don't really have an opinion on her quite yet because I haven't really heard much from her. So I'm going to have to sort of check out what her freestyle's about and what her cypher's going to be about because I just, I don't, I don't know enough about her music to have like a real opinion on her. 24k golden bro this i'm so happy to see y'all here bro 24k is stupid hard bro mood featuring ian dior is one of my top five favorite songs right now bro that song goes stupid hard dropped out of college stupid hard bro i love 24k man Fabio Foreign, bro. Fabio Foreign, man amongst boys. Dude's like 47 years old compared to all these 17 year olds on here, bro. But definitely think Rod Wave is deserving to be on here, man. And the thing about Fabio is 
unfortunately pop smoke is no longer here with us we all know that but if he was still here if he was still alive i have no doubts that pop smoke would be on this list he would be a freshman this year and it's just sad that we don't get to experience pop smoke as a freshman but i have no doubts that fabio is gonna put on for the man pop smoke bro cowboy okay I am familiar with Cowboy. I have seen his name a lot. I do know that there are a lot of people who do fuck with Cowboy. I personally have never heard a song from this dude, so I don't really have an opinion. You know what I'm saying? I can't tell you whether he deserves to or not. So again, this is going to be another one of those artists where I kind of got to hear what he's got going on in the freestyle and in the cypher. Okay. Lil TJ... Lil TJ, the only word to describe Lil TJ is fire. That's it. Nothing more to say. Absolutely fire. NLE Choppa, bro. Okay. Okay, NLE Choppa. I think NLE's been killing it, bro. Definitely, every time I listen to this dude's music, I want to go out and hit me a lick, bro. That's how thug nasty this dude's music is. And it's just so infectious just because it's so high energy and hyped up, bro. I can't help but to rock out to this dude's music, so... Definitely think he deserves to be on here. Chica, if I'm being 100% completely honest, I have absolutely no idea who the hell this girl Chica is. Never, never seen her name, never seen her, never heard nothing from her. Don't know who the hell this is. So it's going to be dope seeing, you know, what she does in the freestyle and in the cypher. It's going to be my first time hearing her and see what she got. You know what I'm saying? So... This is the first artist that I'm unfamiliar with on this list. And then we got Baby, Baby Keem. Okay, Baby Keem. Baby Keem is fire, bro. Oh my God. Orange soda. Stop it. Just stop it, bro. This, this dude, Baby Keem, is so fire, man. I'm so happy to see this dude on here, bro. Lil Keed. Now, Lil Keed is one of those I'm familiar with, but I haven't ever listened to anything he's ever put out. So this is another one of those artists where I need to sort of see what he does in the freestyle and in the cypher to be able to form like a, a, a logical opinion on this dude. It makes a lot of sense for me That's to be it? here now. This the year, this our year, this the okay. best year. It's either eat or get A. It's either eat or get A. Okay. So I definitely think that that was a super, super strong list. This is almost like an all-star lineup, bro. Like this, this is crazy. There's some super, super fire artists on here. And one thing I noticed is that this year's freshman class isn't really highlighting artists on the rise. These are sort of artists that were, that rose up like young artists that rose up super super quickly and have already exploded like polo g nle choppa rod wave you know lil tj those dudes they're already super popular they get millions of views on youtube millions of listeners on spotify and apple music and things like that so their career has already exploded so i think this list could be a little bit more balanced out if they had sprinkled in some underappreciated lesser known artists that are on the rise and sort of highlight some actual like freshmen in the hip-hop that are on the rise rather than just throwing a bunch of heavy hitters in here but i still think that this list was super dope man now there are four artists, four artists that automatically come to mind that were not on this list, okay? Whoever whoever made this list needs to be criminally, they, they need to be arrested, criminally charged, prosecuted, and sentenced to 167 years for each count for snubbing these people because all four of these people are so fire it is criminally not on the list, right? Number one is Don Tolliver, okay? Don Tolliver is so stupid hard, it's not even funny. I saw some people saying that maybe he, he declined it or something like that. If that's if that's the fa facts, then that's fine, you know what I'm saying? I can understand, but if he was just left off this list entirely, you need to be arrested, sir. Number two 
is Lil Tecca. And in my opinion, Lil Tecca is the definition of a hip hop freshman. He's been in the game for not long at all. He's super young, bro, and he has a few songs that have popped off, but he hasn't gone like, you know, he hasn't gone into the stratosphere quite yet. You know what I'm saying? He's not up there with like Polo G and, and Lil TJ and things like that. So I definitely think uh, Lil Tecca would have been perfect on here. Number three is 42 Doug. 42 Doug, super short, but definitely think that dude goes dummy hard. And the last one I'm very upset about, the kid Leroy. Oh my God, bro. The Australian Juice World. That dude, Kid Leroy, is so stupid fire, bro. It's not even funny, man. It is criminal that, that Kid Leroy was left off of this list, man, but... Overall, I definitely still, like I said, think that it's a super dope list, super solid. Definitely a lot of super heavy hitters in here, but I think there are some artists who definitely should have been on here. And I think it could have been a little bit more balanced out with some of those lesser known artists. Let me know what you guys feel about this 2020 XXL freshman list. Do you guys agree? Do you disagree? Are you happy to see certain artists on here? Are there other artists that you think should be on here? Let me know what you guys feel. I'm interested to hear what you guys have to say. Like I said at the beginning, if you guys have any suggestions of videos you would like to see me do, make sure you leave those down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to spank the like and subscribe button, ring the bell, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.